Whether those in charge of Colerain High were aware of prior instances is unclear, but the 16-year-old charged with bringing a BB gun to school last Friday has a history of it. January 2016, just before he turned 14, the youth was in trouble for a similar offense at White Oak Middle School. In September of that same year, court documents show another instance at Union Day Therapeutic School in Westchester. According to a police report, he brought a fake airsoft gun to school and showed the gun to several of his friends before turning it in to a teacher. He did state he brought the gun to school because he wanted to shoot someone. There's been a significant increase in the last probably five years. Heather Wells is with Butler County Educational Services. She considers juvenile detention appropriate in some instances, wonders about the rest. But that may or may not be the right response, but that's the main response right now because we're, for lack of a better word, gun shy. The recent incident at Colerain involves a student who also has two other misdemeanors elsewhere, throwing a chair against a wall and damaging the front windshield of a car. Since Parkland, juvenile court locally has implemented a threat assessment system. The court really is doing everything it can to identify issues that might uh, increase a risk of some type of shooting or violence at school. Here's a picture of the type of airsoft gun brought to Colerain. The student in trouble claims he had it because he was being bullied. And starting the middle of next month in five counties, Butler, Warren, Claremont, Clinton, and Preble, a new program called Mobile Response and Stabilization Services will assess as at-risk kids and determine who might best benefit from being diverted into community service programs as opposed to juvenile jail. Reporting live, John London, WWT News 5. All right, John.